Hello. This is another topic from Nas that he invented. I think his topics are great. He keeps me in touch with what college and high school age people nowadays want. So here's one from Nas. The topic in general is be enthusiastic and consistent. I thought that was an interesting combination, enthusiasm and consistency. Because I guess I had it collapsed in my mind that like if you're consistent, it's kind of boring. But Nas is right, you know, this is great. He thinks in so many different directions. You can be enthusiastic and consistent. Hello, Justin. So first, let's talk about the importance of being enthusiastic. When I was teaching, I had a fellow teacher one time give me a great piece of advice. She said, she said, Justin, when you start your class, she said, go in there like gangbusters, which if you're not familiar with that American expression, going in somewhere like gangbusters is coming in, bursting with energy, coming in with a big presence, coming in alive and awake and alert. And what that shows your students is that you care. It shows them that you give a crap about their class. And it also shows them that you're trying. Because it's so easy for a teacher to come in and be like, Hey, everyone, you know, we're going to talk about me, 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 me. You guys have all experienced it at the high school level, college level. And, you know, to be fair to the teachers, we're only human. So sometimes we're tired, <laughs> which is people. But part of our job is to put forth that energy because if we're excited, It'll transmit to you and you'll get excited and it will help motivate a class. So that's, you know, a quick example of the importance of being enthusiastic. How can we tie that to studies and business? The way I would link into that would be really don't try to avoid doing things that you're not enthusiastic about. Some people tell me this is impractical. Of course, some of the time we have to like go do our taxes or go to the Department of Motor Vehicles and renew our driver's license. These things may not make us go, yay, they have to be done. But I'm talking about the big bucket things in life. Like, honestly, I made this mistake a million times. Don't take on a job that you're not excited about. Don't date someone or marry someone, God forbid, that you're not like totally in love with. Something I think that gets in our way is we have this image in our mind of how things should be. And then we direct our efforts to serving the image and not serving our own creativity and the highest good of everybody involved. And that, that causes trouble. And that, that comes from a lack of enthusiasm, lack of passion. Your inner spirit is like a radar. Boop, 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 boop. It knows what's right for you. And... If I have like an underlying theme in these messages that I share with you guys, it's that in this day and age with all the technology, people have become detached from themselves. We think Google has the answer. There's a million how-to articles on how to do stuff, and that's fine. Read it sometimes, but never forget that this in here, head-to-mind, heart-to-mind connection, is the most important thing there is. Be enthusiastic about it. Be passionate about it. That's where uh, you want to come from. So that's half of Nas's topic, it just in brief. And then another half of Nas's topic, be consistent. Um, there are so many avenues for young people to explore information, to explore possibilities, uh, groups to join, uh, clubs to join, meetups to do, all kinds of adventures. And it's wonderful that humanity has made it to this place. But like anything, there's an upside and a downside. And the downside is that there's so many, there's too many. So like, here's you in the middle, right? And y you can be like this, whoop, like fragmented into five different directions. It's okay to like do a little exploratory into five different directions. But if you stay fragmented, you're really never going to achieve what you want because your energy is all over the place. So what you're going to attract to you is more fragmentation. And I know this because I've done it. I didn't get consistent on my business until just a couple of years ago. And ask my wife. You know, it was a crazy journey for both of us. I was over here. I was to the right. I was up. I was down. And I was, to be fair to myself, I was still exploring and learning. And never let anyone tell you that there's an age limit to that. There is not. There's not. That's not true. We're here to learn. We're here to grow. We're here to change. Those things are constants. So... When I got focused, like laser focused, like I am a translator, I am a speaker, I am a helper, I want to bridge cultural gaps, I, I had my mission like lined up, all these things have opened up. It's like magic. You draw people into your life 
who want to help you because they see off of you that you're aligned, that you're content, that you're able to be of service to other people, that your ideas are clear. It's like a magical magnet that draws the right resources to you. I swear. I swear it'll work. So that's what Nas is talking about. Be consistent. Start now. The way to start is you take a piece of paper, write down everything in your head, literally everything. Write down movies you like, video games, things you want to do, people you want to hang out with, anything that pops up. And then after you're done, take a step back from it, take a day, go away, come back after a day and edit it and cut out all the things that aren't serving you. Everything could be a person, you know, Mike, he kind of started to suck. He's bringing me down. Bye, Mike. You know, I play too much Xbox. I play eight hours a day. All right, we'll play one hour a day, you know, get into Call of Duty for one hour, blow away people for one hour. Fine. Things like that. Start to carve out your life. And what that paper will show you is what your goals are and who you want to be and where you want to go. And it's really useful. And the good thing is, guess what? None of it's permanent. You can change it the next year. What I would advise is when you make your goal sheet, follow it for a while. Don't do it for like two weeks and go, oh, this isn't working. It doesn't work like that. And I'm sure you guys know this. It's kind of common sense. You spend six months developing these goals. Spend a year. You know, with my translation business, my wife and I have been at it for three years. And even before that, we got our first gig like six years ago. And it's built up little by little. Our first gig was $25. And now we work with Amazon. So stuff builds up over time. You never know. You never know what a day is going to bring. And you, you follow that path and things will develop. I promise. I'm not different or special. It's, these are universal laws that affect all of humanity. So you can do it. You stay focused. You do your sheet. You revise it. Okay. Leave comments if you want. I'll answer them. Leave questions. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability and help you guys to get to where you want to go. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope this was useful to you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.